Hey everybody, it's me, Kenya. Welcome to 40 Entrepreneur Drive. And today I am going to give you a list of some really awesome customized labels for entrepreneurs. For example, did you know that I am a entrepreneur? Don't worry, I didn't say anything naughty, but that star is going to show up again very soon. So pay attention and I'll see you in the video. Okay, so as we already know, the act of being an entrepreneur is setting up some type of business or service so that you can exchange your service or goods for money. So I did a little bit of research and I found out there are a lot of different types of specific niche and sub niche and micro niche types of entrepreneurs. And that's why I use the star in front of it because really you can put um, anything in front of the word preneur, which is like a business type of person, and you have a specific type of entrepreneur. While I was doing my research, I not only found out that there are many different types of preneurs, but that the type of preneur that you are can change over time. And also you can be more than one type of preneur. So you may have already heard of a beautypreneur. If you did not know what a beautypreneur is, it is a person whose uh, business model and niche is specifically with beauty products, cosmetics, fashion, and these types of entrepreneurs usually fall into the category of social influencers. Think Instagram people. Epreneurs are people commonly known to have online retail shops like Shopify, BigCommerce, uh, WooCommerce, things like that. So that's a pretty familiar one, Epreneur. Gaming has developed into its own niche. And if you are a gamepreneur, more than likely you are making your living either playing games, uh, reviewing games, or you're some part of the development process for games. And when I say games, I don't just mean video games. Gamification is the act of taking something that is playable and applying it to something else. This can mean uh, making a game out of education, gamifying uh, different uh, technology, uh, putting games into the healthcare system, other types of training, and even fitness. Do you know what a greenpreneur is? I'll give you two guesses. Because there's actually two ways to think about it. So a greenpreneur is someone whose business model is centered around being economically friendly or something that supports the environment or helps to save the environment. Then there's that other green. Yes, I will not say the word, but I'm pretty sure you know what it is. In many states in the United States and in other countries, it is legalized. And also derivatives of a certain plant can be used and that is its own industry. And so yes, those are two different types of greenpreneurs. Ideapreneur, I feel like this applies to me because I've been talking about entrepreneurship for the last two years and I still have a ton of ideas in my notebook. Ideas, ideas that I can't necessarily do on my own right now, but in the right hands, oh boy, somebody would have a field day with my notebook. So an ideapreneur is actually a person that comes up with original ideas and they either sell those ideas to another organization to develop or they work in partnership with that organization. I need an organization to find me because I've got a brain full of things and well, I've only got so much time. Moving on to the next preneur. So at the start of the spring, I did a video on 50 books, was it 50 books or 40 books? But there was a list of books for your child to read or for you to read with your child if they're interested in becoming their own entrepreneur. Do you know what that's called? That is a kidpreneur. Matter of fact, there's an organization and a book called Kidpreneur. If you have not already seen that video, go back and check it out and you will find there are tons of literature uh, showing children and encouraging kids how to be their own bosses. Socialpreneurs are people that are usually working with or other organizations or for a specific cause. They are activists. They are people that look around and see 
problems in our society and they build a business around solving them. Those are socialpreneurs. Now, that's only a handful of the list that I've actually got and I want you to go check it out on my website. The website is 40entp.com. I've put a lot of research into compiling that list and it's a pretty long list, but I don't think it's complete. So go over to 40entp.com, check out my ultimate list of star entrepreneurs because really when you put that star in front of something um, it's, it's a substitute it's a placeholder for anything matter of fact here's a little bonus tip the next time that you want to look up something uh, in an internet search put star in front of um, a word that can possibly have another prefix in front of it and you can use that asterisk or that star as a wild card and so that's why I call this the starpreneur video it's because really anything can be put in in front of it and make a whole new idea concept or word I hope that you found this video helpful and valuable if so let me know with a thumbs up share it with someone else and don't forget don't forget to go check out the website so that you can learn what the other uh preneurs are and let me know what you think about it come back here leave me a comment and if you know of a different type of preneur that's not on that list that should be on that list let me know so that i can add it and add more value to you and anyone else checking out the site thanks so much see you in the next video there is one more entrepreneur on this list that I want to tell you guys about. And if you watch my interview with Mr. Omar Finley from my Boss Series playlist, um, this was the, you will hear this particular term. This is the first time that I've heard it when he mentioned it. It is a wantrepreneur. It is a person who only dreams about being their own boss or only talks about it, but they're not putting anything into place or not trying or risking anything at all. It's just a dream. I think I discovered why some of my coworkers don't want to talk to me about their businesses. That was some feedback that Mr. Finley gave me is that maybe they, maybe it's not me. Maybe they don't want to talk to me about their entrepreneurship venture because they're not an entrepreneur, they're an entrepreneur. Check out those videos, check out that website. I'll check you out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Support the channel by letting the ads play. Follow me on social media for bonus content and exclusive deals. Leave a thumbs up or down for the videos. Express yourself in the comment section. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay current on the channel. Watch one of my playlists or one of these featured videos. And if you want to show monetary support for this channel, check out my Patreon link in the About Me page. See you next time.